Hello, I'm David Taston with 989, brought to you by interest.co.nz. This week, everything you need to know in 90 seconds at 9 o'clock, with news that politics seems to be driving the economic news today. Wall Street is treading water, and the United States and China are continuing their trade negotiations with no clear outcome in sight. And Congress is still struggling to find a way around the impending reprise of their shutdown. Meanwhile, the New York Fed published a survey of consumer sentiment today, and that shows them as less optimistic generally about their economy and changes in their own financial situations. The share of households expecting to be better off from a year from now fell to 39%, the lowest reading since 2016. And China is back from its weeks-long holiday, but spending over that period grew at its slowest pace in seven years and reflecting wider troubles in the Chinese economy. And it turns out two large private corporate borrowers have defaulted on bonds this month. And we should note that tensions are rising again in the South China Sea. It is not just because the US is sailing through the area. China is now trying to intimidate the Philippines. These flashpoints could explode, especially if the US-China trade talks break down. In Italy, which has more than 2,400 tonnes of gold in its reserves, their new government is looking to using that to support their spending programs without breaching the EU commitments. And in Spain, they've just raised their minimum wage by 22% to 1,050 euros a month. Their economy had grown 2.5% in 2018, but that was slower than the 3% growth in 2017. So this is a high-stakes gamble that the extra purchasing power by this jump in social transfers will pay for itself in growth and higher tax collections. Today, Wall Street has little change in mid-afternoon trading. That is in sharp contrast to the strong 1% gains in Europe overnight and yesterday's 1.4% rise in Shanghai. Hong Kong rose 0.7%. But the ASX fell yesterday despite a sharp rise confirmed for their iron ore prices. Part of the reason is that second-tier banks are falling out of favour as markets see them as struggling to absorb the costs and lessons of the Hain report. U.S. Treasury 10-year yield is higher at 2.66%, and that's up 3 basis points. Their 210 curve is just under 17 basis points. Gold is down $5 to $1,309 an ounce. And U.S. oil prices are a dollar lower today at just under $52 a barrel, while the Brent benchmark is just on $61.50 a barrel. And the Kiwi dollar will start today marginally softer at 67.3 U.S. cents. On the cross rates, we're at 95.3 Aussie cents, which is marginally firmer, and the Kiwi And against the Kiwi, the euro is 59.7 euro cents. That leaves the TWI at 72, a level it's been for about a week. I'm David Chaston. That was 98.9, brought to you by interest.co.nz.